गुड इवनिंग गुड नाइट गुड मॉर्निंग गुड टाग वाई गुजाइम माई डियर फ्रेंड्स वी आर अगेन हियर विद अवर ट्वेंटी फिफ्थ पॉडकास्ट एपिसोड ऑफ लीव अगेन बटी टूडे आई एम गोइंग टू शेयर फ्यू ऑफ द रिसेंट एक्सपीरियंस विच कपल ऑफ डेज ए गो आई हैव गॉन थ्रू एंड बिलीव मी दीज एक्सपीरियंस आर सो so impactful that that i thought i should share this with all my friends myself suman munshi from calcutta west bengal india and i'm always obsessed with with the development of my country my state my city and my people and no matter whoever it is in the power no matter what is the, the color is that doesn't make any sense to me until and unless it is creating some positive impact for the people and subject of india now now what i am going to share today is very very important for three segment of people in consideration number 1 the students who are going to be the next generation of the workforce of this great country number 2 who are working at this moment and part of this workforce number 3 who are managing this present workforce and planning to expand their business to recruit the new workforce the very three important stakeholders of any country of any economy of any business community and i am going to discuss few things which i have observed during the three important meeting organized by three important business associations number 1 merchant chamber of commerce from kolkata their hr conclave which was organized in one of the leading hotels of pak street and who's who from the hr industry was present number 2 the small tea growers association and their activity around the small tea planters of india the first international convention of the small tree growers association he is a very important cash crop for india especially for bengal so another important event and that again that happened in a very big hotel just near the calcutta zoo i am not taking the names for the obvious reasons but people can easily make out number 3 the evening event again it is one of the biggest hotel near the science city and it was organized by indian chamber of commerce as a part of their agm so this three event i went there in a capacity of chief editor of ibg news so reporting about this three events was part of my professional duty and which i did if anybody is interested they can go to the ibgnews.com and they can see that what was the details of these events but this is not the reporting this is the podcast this podcast basically run by myself and sharing my experience with the people who are interested to know what what things are happening and how it is happening i have have worked with many big organizations so i have have little bit of experience with mnc's of usa uk australia europe india and almost every other industry lab automation i have done on my own so laboratory information system was my stream of work earlier and now as a journalist it gives me a immense immense 
confident while speaking with a business or any industry or any R and D field because I have worked with them. I know in and out of their processes and their problems, challenges. So these are the things. Very well. So story abhi kya hai? Story ye hai ki one of my senior colleague, whom I respectfully call Dada. Dada in Bengali, you know, the elder brother. And uh, Swamitra Mukherjee, his name, is one of the finest HR operational person who, uh, whom I have ever came across for his unique people-oriented, people's development-oriented plans, thought process and things. Now, recently, uh, we worked together on a project, on a project to develop uh, such upcoming industry and uh, that is uh, that is a very very uh, uh, happening experience for uh, put together 110 years experience person what is that that another story i'll tell some other people that would be a, uh, my legendary experience i'm sure for the management who wants to make the things correct for their startups and what you should do and what you should not do all you will understand from that story and i'll try to bring mr mukherjee on the show so that uh, you can hear it from the right from the horse's mouth dada uh, i really admire you so i call uh, mr mukherjee dada there is a convention uh, going on conclave on nature by merchant chamber of commerce and industries uh, so uh, can you come down to park city in such and such hotel that i was always supportive when he said why not uh, today is a uh, um, uh, just doctor gave me uh, uh, go ahead and uh, explore your world and see how you how feel like you like recently that I had a uh, medical and issue now, now he has recovered and do, under doctor, doctor supervision, supervision but he came he came, came. and believe me came. with uh, one, and one and a half hours, hours we spent, spent there, there and he kept the noting of everything I was just observing, observing from the behind a senior, senior citizen, citizen yet, yet experienced, experienced enough, enough at the same time enthusiastic, enthusiastic enough, enough. To do the right thing for the people in the HR world. So, it happens. happens. People are uh, very much uh, passionate about their job. So initially, this HR concept explained that what is the changing world, the colonial and slavery kind of mentality in the management of most of the organizations happening are not going to be the next thing in this industry if you're still running your business in, with the mentality of a uh, of a master and your employees are like your slaves your cattle then you are making a blunder of yourself and definite recipe for closing down of your business in a very short term that is the first opinion expressed by the stalwarts of the industry right from the side bamalores and peerless and and all other people are there and even the merchant people what they say ownership of the employees should come from within you cannot you cannot put pressure unnecessarily to disturb their work bal life balance if anybody is uh, ready to work a week from the home and uh, still he delivers the thing there is no need to come to the office that is the uh, plan of the uh, need of the hour what they are saying that post pandemic the whole thing has changed your target kpa KRA, all these stunts, HR, HR directors, directors minded, mind these are the gurus of HR of the, of the industry across the India. They are they saying are this, this that you cannot put the word target. target. Because the moment, the moment you are putting the word target, it becomes you are directing your subordinates, and that is the thing. The hierarchy will be there, but but people are not interested anymore in the hierarchies. They are much more interested developing, developing their skill set, set as an employee. They, they are much more loyal to their profession rather than loyal to the brand. 
what they are doing as an engineer they should do it is the best a possible way for their engineering subject and that is their deliverables it doesn't matter x y or z which brand they are working next important thing what came out that people are saying that this brand is doing good this brand is not performing that much good that means the brand x which is performing better is having better set of people than the brand y brand is merely a terminology now how smart your people are how smart your workforce are that is a point of the order and if you are recruiting the right talent with the right mix you are having a winning edge quality speaks the ultimate that's why what they gave an example that if you don't pay listen to the whistle blowers if you don't pay and uh, listen and protect to the whistle blowers you are losing out very important thing next important thing technology is changing very fast so each and every uh, employee skill set that all gets obsolete very soon if they are not ready to learn if they are not ready to refresh and if they are not adapting to the new technologies that is important the technology which was very very relevant 20 years back they are no more in demand anymore so the learning curve and learning in immediate skills are very much important next one important thing came into the face of hr discussion that human resource development hrd is very much important development of people's skill set people's well being in mental condition their personal life professional life all needs to be part of an hr management only the idiots listen carefully only the idiots sitting in the top and things that giving the instructions and forcing the minute by minute monitoring of any job is going to change the thing it will change the thing for sure that is you will have donkeys under you or monkeys under you will dance under the tune of yours not the talented ones you have to give the people the liberty to take the decision to do the things if you don't give the things will not happen if you try to monitor them the way it used to be 20 years 30 years 50 years back then you are losing out that's for sure a recent story i can give you some of the leading house they are very famous in the real estate field and uh, some other areas also they um, terminate um, the contractual employee without giving any notice without giving the salary also so do they think that this kind of attitude will work no it will not work so surely this is going to create them a big trouble in their life even if the employees are not doing that is creating in a bad word of mouth for the product and services they are in because the people who are not giving the salary to their staff the legitimate uh, payment and not also maintaining the contractual obligations then that means they are ethically not correct and they are ethically corrupt person so corruption will be definitely there in each and every action and business steps they are doing so that was the uh, message clearly given by the chambers now the key growers so hr conclave gave a very beautiful insight that the entire hr gamut and rules of the game has been changed the new age gen x gen uh, generation z z plus plus they are not at all interested in the management uh, bossing they are much more interested in the working in a freedom full and innovative world where they can express their skill sets people don't bother about the salary anymore they know there are a lot of other options they have the online they have many other ways to want they don't want to waste their time in journey that is the order of the day only it used to have the remote working now the manufacturing are also innovating and they are getting so these are the point of the order very important so this kind of seminars what marching chamber of commerce did is really appreciable 
and chamber is doing the very very innovative contentful events which really uh, enlights the people who are in the business and at the same time the opportunity to interact with these leaders brings the best out of the minds to give a collective quality upliftment of the entire environment so thank you much in chamber of commerce for your activity second part of that day the and I, I i'm lucky enough that in a single day that a lot of thing happened the small tea growers association came together almost uh, 3 lakhs plus people uh, who are part of the small tea growers association they came together and formed a trinity tea trinity trinity this brand as a part of the small growers tree branding and this tree branding we connected with the qr code wherein every small tea growers who have produced that what kind of pesticide what kind of organic farming or inorganic farming they have given as a manure as a uh, medicine to the environment everything is available so you are getting a real kind of quality control on the tea indian tea merchants association and others they have gone through a lot of leaps and bounds changes now the small tea growers are going to be the change of this industry they are the future of this industry that already central government has given a empty number of focus in this sector now with the solidarity and other uh, people in action they have generated a great confidence among the small tea growers that's why they have came together and formed this brand which is actually supplying the raw tea tea leaves to the big players big brands even and at the same time their supply to the market creating the quality tea in the effective price range and that is very important price if it is goes too high it is out of the reach of the common people at the same time he needs to be a primary commodity for every indians all of the world by now this event gave a unique opportunity to interact with the small tree growers and give them a confidence that the big brands solidarity and others and uh, they have done the first international small tea growers conclave in kolkata near calcutta zoo so all this kind of business meetings are very much important and across india it should happen in a different cities so that the business market and the consumer they all know came to across the challenges faced by the small tree growers what kind of help workers nawad and other financial institutions all they can come into this scope and this is a good opportunity for the management students as a case study that even the small growers in in any cash crop sector like the coffee the or the spices they can come up and make a brand of their own association small small party joining hands and making a big production and sell it across the silk route and all other business routes in traditional indian products where they are in demand like silk like like kashmir shawls like indian clothes handicrafts these are the also the agricultural product if the organic farming and other things comes up they the enter flow with the market so this is the one very important thing and the students of tea industry they can also see the scope as a tea expert taster the planters they can get an opportunity with these small time farming organizations farmers and things self employment very good scope is coming up through oh, this hands of small tea growers association so i personally wish them a very very a encouraging future in front of them and uh, to produce a good quality teas for entire uh, world then the third important thing and this is the one of the most important one 
इंडियन चेंबर ऑफ फॉर्मर्स एजीएम एनुअल जनरल मीटिंग मेनी पीपल केम मेनी पीपल कोजूज ऑफ द बिजनेस एंड द एंटायर हॉल बिग हॉल वाज फिल्ड अप मोर देन 1000 पीपल सर देयर media business gamet consulates and all who no who else who what not in that event the minister from myanmar minister from india and and the change of baton pradeep surekha ji uh, successfully handed over the presidency of the icc chamber to the new president uh, mr surekha uh, really has uh, done a good job and uh, everybody appreciated his last one year presidency here and what happened in that event i i can take two names who really created an impact the famous actor bomane rani and our ex general indian army vk singh both of them are legend on their own rights first i'll talk about our honorable minister right now and also, and also our external vk sins how you can motivate your people for your country who can be the best person to do this other than an army general and exactly that mr singh has done kudos to you sir salute to you the way in your 10 minute speech you motivated the entire audience that it worth listening again and again and for that moment i feel that everybody inside that hall felt proud to be indian and really the indian passport and indian citizenship brought the honor in last 5 10 years for everybody globally which is now everywhere appreciated no more indian passport is valueless you you explain why indian passport has become so powerful in the world now thanks to you sir and thanks to the entire leadership business leadership political leadership and the people of india the effort of their self really uh, brought it into leaps and bounds now comes to bomani rani bomani rani is a person who immediately changed the scenario of the entire stream with his magnetic presence whenever he enters the stream no matter who else is there on the stage he steals the show such a powerful character such a composed expression and modulation he explained each phase of his life fight and how he brought it to present level what was his desire how he fight his dyslexia his stammering and all the childhood problems and he uh, he was so passionate about his uh, work and he was searching different ways of life right from the photography to the stage actor to the screen actor to the um, uh, stand up comedian to a character uh, your pep talk game leadership talk sales talk and motivational speaker what not but but what i saw and what i really admired one line he referred from bruce lee the legendary bruce lee he said that once bruce lee told that i am not afraid of a person who knows the thousand types of kicks but i am afraid of that person who knows one kick and tries it out thousand times that is the most important message of that day practice practice and practice and find out your sweet spot which ever the things you like most to don't get carried out by any any compulsion search your dream and and try to cherish it try to achieve it with your rightful labor training and opportunity that's the bomani rani's message and the, he ended the day with a wonderful song he sang of 
Frank Sinatra. Oh my God, mind blowing. He would have, he would have much more, much more popular singer than the actor he is. I, I'm, I'm really uh, in a fix now. Whom to admire more? The actor, comedian, the stage performer, Bombani Rani, or the Bombani Rani who sings like a champ? That is the thing. He really made that evening glitter like a old star. Yes, sir. We really appreciate your presence that day. You made a very simple yet awful message available to the entire, entire peoples of this world that no matter what challenges you are facing, try to overcome it with your best possible way. Never give up. Never give up. And that is the message that at the age of 43, when a person is starting his career as an actor in the films, and he becomes an overnight celebrity just because of hard work he put off prior 43 years in his life. So whatever you are doing, it is not at all in vain. Everything will bring its full color into life. And that is the most important message you gave, sir. I really appreciate it. So uh, three important story I shared today. One in a very a very, very hard to package in in three uh, half an hour time the entire 24 hours of activity but the three business messages are very important number one HR development is the mantra develop your manpower treat them as human being and allow them to grow along your organization if you try to put uh, unjust expectations and try to play the game of cricket with the hockey players, you're not going to success. So utilize the right talent in the right position, allow them to take their own decisions. Number two, small is beautiful. Small tree growers association coming together, forming a brand that is surely going to be a change maker for the tea industry. Let's hope for the best. Third, how to motivate the people in the right context with their patriotism, with their feelings for the country, nation, and dutiful. Learn it from General V.K. Singh's message. At the same time, if you are a performer, how to excel in your performance, Baba Nidhani is the way. Thank you very much. Thanks for listening. Suman Munshi from Calcutta, West Bengal, India, wishing you all a very good night, good morning, good talk, Wahyu Kuzaymas. Wherever from you are listening this podcast, I wish you all a very great time. Enjoy your life. Don't give up. Don't give up. No matter whatever challenges, life is full of possibilities. Every one has to leave this show one day whenever the day is over but before that don't keep up don't keep up thank you bye bye